So your cup has been very helpful for us. It really has helped tell the bladder health story. So I think patients, uh, prostate's a confusing thing for men. It's an acorn, there's a straw in the middle. Where is it? Does it have cancer? What does it have to do with me, you know, avoiding peeing? So whereas the Eurocup really helps tell the story of the bladder, the bladder is a muscular sac, it stores urine and it empties. The work of that muscle is forcing urine through the prostate. Yours is overgrown and that area is now uh, obstructed or partially obstructed. And so the Eurocup really shows the patient what that bladder muscle, how hard that bladder muscle is working, where they are in their progression of their disease, you know, what their flow rate is. And, and gives us information to help counsel the patients uh, to in, in the BPH pathway. So we've really uh, put the Eurocuff in our BPH pathway uh, and really early on, I think again, it helps tell the bladder health story. So patients will see them for the first time, you know, what, uh, get a history, what medicines have they been on, have they tried, and then really let's see where you are in your disease state. So, that next visit will be a tech visit most of the time to, to um, get a Eurocuff and, and have that result to look at. Um, we like to get it before uh, they're thinking about a procedure or to see if they're a candidate for, for a procedure to see where they are. And then really more recently, we've been using it, just that patient who wants to stay on medical therapy, well, let's get a baseline, see where you are, see what your numbers are, so we'll have something to follow in the future. Um, I think it does impact how we treat a patient in that it helps uh, confirm a diagnosis. It helps to show how um, severe the disease state is. It can help differentiate if a patient is more overactive uh, bladder type situation. It can, can uh, lead you more in that direction. So um, I, do, I do think it helps. I, there's no question your cuff has gotten more patients to evaluation, more patients to cystoscopy that obviously is gonna get more patients to a procedure or third line therapy. So yes, it really has, I think, helped us better communicate with the patient and really show them what's going on in their BPH disease state. I mean, I think it does help predict the, um, the outcome of your procedure to some degree, if the bladder functions well, I think that's one of the, uh, th there still is bladder function. That's been very helpful um, to, to give a patient a prognosis what's going forward. I think a little twist on that, and this came up recently, I had a patient who he was about a year out from a procedure. He said, you know, I'm not so sure um, how well that helped me. Well, we were able to look back and say, well, before you had a residual of 250, today your residual is 15 mLs. And we did a Eurocuff on him and showed that his uh, bladder pressures had gone down, his flow rate had gone up, he was off medication. And so he said, oh, no, well, you're right, I am doing well. And sometimes it's hard for them to remember how bad it was before, but, but it, it was nice to, to show him, no, things are actually working well now. his dad. And I think one of the biggest surprises for me is how much patients like data that if you think about it, they've go to their primary care, they give a history, they're given a prescription for a pill, they come to the specialist and, and I think they are expecting more. So if we just double the pill they're already on and do nothing else, they really haven't gained a whole lot or learned anything. Well, my primary care could have done that. But if you give them some information, some data, sh educate them about the disease state, show them where in that progression they are, I, I think, Patients are very appreciative of that. And whether you, then you give them the options and get them involved with their decision process going forward, how they want to manage that. I, you know, I try, I mean, that's sort of the art of medicine. Um, if it's a new patient and it's pretty clear they've been stable for a long time, yeah, I think probably a year is fine. If they really seem like they're progressing or, but they're ignoring that, then I'm going to bring them back sooner. And that's, that's the patient that the, your cuff may be helpful. Well, it sounds like to me, these symptoms have been getting worse. Um, you're having more urgency, more impact on your bladder muscle. Again, the bladder health talk. Um, let's see where you are. Let's see how hard your bladder is working. And the one of my favorite lines the last few years I've used is, we want to make sure you're not one of the guys on the catheter commercial. So I think, um, you know, your cuff has been helpful in that, in that patient mindset. This may come as a shock to you, but most men deny or play down their symptoms. So sure. this kind of helps bring it more to the forefront that it, it 
it, it may be more severe than what they're letting on to. Do so you if, it's, if it's worse, I'm going to see them more frequently in the pathway. And if we make a change, ideally we get them back in about six weeks to see, because in the past we'd say, here's a new pill. We'll see in a year. By then we know 70% are not on the pill or done something else or drifted off somewhere. So once you get them engaged, I think it's really important to maintain that engagement. Um, and I think that's where the future is too, is communicating with that patient digitally and, and being able to, to uh, really um, see where they are in the process. Yeah, I think if they, if they show interest and want to see, I think the graph is really helpful to show them and, you know, show them where they, here's where you are, your, you know, your bladder, it's a high pressure, it's work, that muscle's working hard, the flow is starting to slow down. So again, you're on this path, the next step is the more permanent bladder damage and eventually your low pressure, low flow. And again, no matter how good an operation I do, I may not be able to help you much if at all here. So again, I, that's kind of... Uh, uh, how I like to sh to show them again. Most guys are visual visual learners, so seeing that um, has has been beneficial. Yeah, I think it's it's tough. We take care of patients and oftentimes uh, don't pay attention to or ignore or overlook the business side of it. So it is important that it it fits in and um, uh, on the business side as well. And I think your cuff fits the bill. It's it's good medicine and and good business as well. So um, it. Um, it, it has been uh, reimbursement and um, in, in fitting in our pathway uh, nicely.